Hey guys, how you all doing? Ali here, welcome to the channel. This video is all about saying thank you to you guys for helping me hit 20K. Thank you so much. I did not think I would hit 20K uh, like ever. If you told me two years ago, can you hit like 1K? I would have been happy with that. 20K is awesome, thank you so much. So what I'm gonna do in this video is basically answer all of your questions that I've collated from YouTube and from Instagram. I'm gonna take you around and do some food reviews as well, like casual ones, but there'll be places that maybe I don't wanna do a full review on, like a dedicated video, but I'm gonna try and fit in a few of them. I'm gonna show you a little bit about my gym because I get asked questions about that a lot. It's just dawned on me, this may be my first video in my new place. I've actually moved into a new place, but... Hey guys, so Ali here from the future. We're gonna get back to the video in a second, but what I wanna do very quickly is just thank today's video sponsor of Maya Band. So, you can see what I'm holding here. I've got a ton of protein bars by Maya Band. I'm gonna talk more about these in a little bit when I go to the gym, but I just want to say thank you so much to these guys for making this video happen. Cheers guys, we'll talk about these in a second. Oh geez will remember the Roger Federer cushion, so I've kept that there just for continuity. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kick this off straight away with a question. Yerio asks, if you could live anywhere in the world, except the UK, where would it be? The truthful answer is anywhere where my family is, but assuming they would come with me, probably somewhere uh, like Thailand, because there's a ton of amazing halal food, really good community, easy to travel, good transport links, good weather, and really, really cheap as well. Amazing food, Thailand, Thailand, that's where I think I'd go. Omar Khan, one, two, three, A, B, C, like the name, asks, can you do a video on your travels to Southeast Asia? There's not much halal food travel advice available. Yeah, definitely. The thing is, I started my channel two years ago. I was like really into it. I had loads of plans. I booked loads of stuff. And then the pandemic hit. So I literally canceled tickets to a ton of places, rebooked those tickets, then canceled those tickets because everything was kind of all over the place. So I've not really been around too long. Now that we can travel again, I'm definitely planning to do some more travels and I will definitely include lots of travel advice when I go to those places. In fact, Rome and Naples is coming up soon. I've got Santorini, Barcelona, Athens, uh, where am I forgetting? Berlin. So I've definitely got some places coming up. Next question whilst I edit, then I need to cut the grass, but then we're gonna go get some food from places in town actually, because I wanna, I'm hungry. Okay, so Sheesh0593 asks, does your car have heated seats? Weird question, man, not gonna lie. I'm just gonna bypass that. Uh, uh, AH underscore 4447 asks, if you could collab with one YouTuber, who would it be? Probably some of the guys that got me into reviews. I think Mike Chen, he is awesome, man. He's like the first person I've properly watched. Mark Wien's obviously the man, right? But there are a ton of people that I would love to collab with if I'm being completely honest. Because a few spots I don't want to give dedicated reviews to, but I do want to show them to you because I think they're actually pretty good or pretty bad. I don't know, I don't know too much about them, but uh, let's answer some more questions. Hello oh, guys, it rained last night, so I cannot cut the grass. Oh no, I hate cutting the grass. It's one of those things I absolutely hate doing. It's one of my biggest pet peeves because one of the things, yeah, it cost me like 250 quid to buy a lawnmower, right, which is expensive. Turns out you can get a gardener to do it for like a tenner. That's like 25 cuts, man. That's like two years worth of someone doing it for you and you can do whatever you want to do. And I'm the idiot that brought a lawnmower and I have to do it myself. Oh man, I hate, I hate cutting the grass. But let's do another question. I've got lots and lots of gym questions, but I'm going to go to the gym later. And I'm going to show you uh, gym stuff, gym workouts, all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned. That's going to be good. So stay tuned for that. Mohammed Chowdhury asks, if you had to choose between eating out or eating at home cooking, uh, what would you prefer? Tough one. I love my parents' food. So mum's cooking trumps everything just for that nostalgia, that connection, the love that you feel in it. But Let's keep it real, man. Mum can't make sushi. She can't do sushi. Um, so, I don't know. Tough one. Probably eat out because, like, you can have every cuisine in the world. Whereas eating at home, if I was to make it, I'm not the best cook in the universe. My mum makes it. She makes amazing afna food. But where are the pizzas at? Okay, so, I'm getting ready to go out now to show you some good food eateries, guys. But, um... So, Jay asks, Ali bro, what about a special meet and greet type event? Might be tough with COVID in the air, but we're nice to meet the man behind the awesome content. Thank you so much, man. I, mean, I love meeting you guys. I meet people like every day in the street and I'll like stop and um, ruin your day by chatting to you for half an hour. But uh, yeah, so a meet and greet, I think I will do eventually. Maybe, inshallah, if I ever get to 50k or like 100k, I think I'll probably do something along those lines. Plus it allows time for restrictions to ease, things to go to normal, I can book something out, I can meet you guys, do like a proper event, but on like maybe 50k 
or like 100K, something along those lines, I think. So if 80,000 people are watching this, because I'm on 20K now, make sure to subscribe and I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> Time to go meet Cameraman T. I'm gonna show you guys the gym and we're gonna have some good food, hopefully, as well. And answer some more questions. All right, guys, so I'm with brother T. Taz is behind the camera. We've got some good questions that are gonna involve Taz. But um, yeah, Isan Ahmed has asked, how many countries have you traveled to and which is your favorite and why? Uh, Alhamdulillah, I've traveled to a lot of countries. I'm not one of those people that count. I find that quite cringy counting how many countries I've traveled to, but a lot. I've traveled to a, a, a lot. Um, favorites, uh, Thailand, Vietnam, Taz, what are you saying? Thailand as well. He thinks Thailand too. Uh, Korea was amazing. Uh, Pakistan was epic. Uh, on the spot, on Turkey. the spot. Turkey, oh, I've been to Turkey like 11 times. I love Turkey, Turkey's great. But uh, I'm gonna go into more depth in another video. But for now, I'm really hungry. So we are gonna get, there's a new uh, shawarma place around the corner, which I haven't tried. I didn't wanna do a dedicated video, but I'll chuck it in here. So we're gonna go there now. Right, here we go. So Arndale Shawarma. I think we're literally just gonna get the shawarma and that's pretty much it. Let me just show it to you guys. It's open. I can't get the sign in. There we go. Arndale Shawarma. So oh well it, it looks pretty good. We're just gonna go onto the side here, I think. There's a fair few people in the vicinity, so it looks good. This was uh, four quid. I think it's priced all right. There's a good-ish amount of shawarma in there. Maybe a little bit more could have been better, but the Samoon feels relatively fresh. It looks all right. It looks all right. Let's give it a go. It's decent enough. I think it's serviceable. I think there are better places in Manchester, if I'm being completely frank. There's uh, Today Shawarma, there's a place down Cheatham Hill Shawarma, Fresh Shawarma? I'll try and link it. Um, there's some better places, but it's all right, guys. It's all right. It's not, not too bad. Not too bad. I didn't try any of the other stuff, but... Oh, let's go on with a question. Thank you, cameraman. That's what I'm here for. Lovely jubbly. I'll do a couple of questions before we move on. F Mohammed 25 asks, the best curry you've ever had. Easy, 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 easy answer. My mum's because the best food but you can taste the love you can taste the love and care in that lots of questions about what i do for a living my day job do i do this full time i do youtube and instagram full time i started that as of january this year so this is what i do full time i felt like when covid hit there aren't that many opportunities where you can just leave what you're doing and if there's a big blank on your resume you can just say it was covid so i was like Go try and go for what you enjoy, go for your dream, you only live once. I started the year at like 6k, that's when I left work and you know, Alhamdulillah, I'm now on 20, so I'm really happy with that. Right, so I'm going to eat this with cameraman. What did you think of it actually? It was okay, as you would say, perfect, perfect, perfectly <laughs> serviceable. You said that imperfectly. Nah. Yeah. But we're going to move on guys, we're going to go for like this vegan thing and some bubble tea and then maybe something else. We're going to move on and do some more questions. Do you know what guys, I'm going to answer another question because the next place is only a minute away and there's cameraman there, look, just chilling. Hiya. Um, <laughs> question is, would you collab with any other halal food YouTubers? I'm actually just got in the works now, like literally yesterday, had the idea to go to Birmingham and get Aki, Bearded Mo, Foodie Meets Food as well and myself all in one big video. I think that'll be fun. I don't think I've seen that before on YouTube. I think that's a bit different. So that is definitely coming. Right, so Anika Ali Hashmi asks, have you always been a food connoisseur? I'm definitely not a connoisseur. I know nothing about food. And what got you into blogging about it? Uh, I just enjoy it and it's pretty chill. And I, so I just thought, why not? Nothing really major. I think one of the things I travel a lot, I think we're going to what the pitta, which I think is just there. But um, I'm gonna answer the question out here. So one of the things I love to do is travel. Part of that for me is eating good food. But when I would travel, I would find online, there weren't too many resources and, and stuff about like what's good when you go abroad. Within our community, eating is so central and pivotal to a lot of our events. So if you go to a wedding, if you go 
out with your friends. Food is always a pivotal point. So with that being said, there weren't many people talking about it online. I would go on holiday, I want to know where to eat, and I couldn't find that. So I thought, why don't I start a page where I travel? And then COVID hits, I couldn't travel, but I'm gonna do that now. Start a page where I travel, find all the best halal food. So if you are going somewhere, you know where to go because there's some amazing food all over the world, guys. You just know, you just need to know where to look. So that's kind of why I started it. Also, I think I've always wanted to do this because as cameraman would attest to, do you remember when I was young and with you and Seymour, I used to like make food and do like a cookery show? I will never forget that. Some of my fondest memories, yeah. <laughs> So like, what I used to do is I used to get them to come out, I used to make them like, really big, they were like really young. I think you were like, what, five? A little bit, sometimes, you know, eight, you know, between sometimes five. Sometimes it was eight, sometimes it was five guys. Between five uh, to 12. So I, I was like, you know, between eight to 12, and I'd make them like fish fingers and chips and beans, and I would like talk through the food, and like pretend I was presenting the food. So I think to a degree, I've kind of always wanted to do this, to be honest, it just took me a very long time to do it, but I am so thankful that I have done it. What we're gonna do guys, we're gonna answer some more questions, but I do wanna try this place, because what the pizza? I've got lots and lots of questions to answer. But uh, I think we'll go inside, we're gonna try it, and then I'll answer maybe two or three more questions before moving on to the next place. Hello. Hello. So it's not really good to see this. So it's pretty smacky, there's some tables outside, but people are sat on them, so we can't sit there. It would be lovely to sit outside. But yeah, a good amount of seating or whatnot. I do think it's a bit pricey. I think I paid 11 something. 11 something was it tea? I wasn't looking, sorry mate. Oh, I think it's like 11 something and it's like a vegan donut. Everything here is vegan. And uh, and some like a uh, vegan baklava. But if it's tasty, you know, price is always relative to taste and quality. But So Abdul K07 asks, what are your plans moving forward? Uh, example, if you get 30,000, 40,000 subs, etc. Plans are to continue what I'm doing. I want to explore Manchester more, Bradford, Birmingham, London, all those kinds of cities because there's so much in the UK, so I will not change that tour. But I do want to do more international stuff, do more international food tours. That's always been the vision for the channel. It's always been my goal. So I'm going to continue doing that for sure. Guys, cameraman is uh, telling me off because I keep interfering with the camera setup and he's behind it and I uh, keep ruining all this hard work, so. You focus on eating, I'll yeah. focus on recording. <laughs> yeah, so to be fair, right, it's come out and it is quite pricey, but it's quite chunky, which is nice. Um, the first impression, I get, it's wrapped like um, tightly and it feels cold, but I think that would be the salad in it. Um, wrapped like a burrito. It is wrapped like a burrito, actually, to be fair. I kind of want to cut it to look inside it, but do you have cutlery? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Oops. We have pork and sweet. No. We have forks but no like knives, it's a wooden sustainable cutlery, so nothing to cut with, uh, which is not ideal I would say. Um, it looks alright, it looks kind of like a, what I would kind of expect, like a veggie, veggie strip, those kind of meat free alternative kind of stuff. It needs a bit more chilli I think, a bit more flavour. I don't know what to think of it, I think I've just had a shawarma and that wasn't particularly great. This is probably uh, worse than that when that was average. It's a little bit dry. Got like an earthy taste. Can you bit, tell it's meat free? Let me try again. Does it taste vegan? It doesn't taste like any vegans I've had. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. I think if you were to saute that with some peppers and chilli, it'd be much nicer. As it is, it's overpriced and kind of dead, I mean, Frank. For me, key is texture. Really it has a weird texture. So I have to hold Sorry, it's going all over the place because I opened it like an animal. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to let cameraman have it so he can give you his opinion as well. Oh, have the other half, actually. It's even better. I'm just going to pick you up, guys. We're going to turn you around. Yeah, I really don't like that at all. I'm like I can taste herbs. It's earthy, herby. Yeah, for me, I wouldn't think that's chicken. We have corn chicken, and you can tell we're trying to mimic chicken. This is its own thing entirely. It doesn't taste like kebab. Quite salty, actually. Too salty. So. Yeah, out of 10, what are you giving it? I'm giving it like a 3 or a 4. Um, the thing is, I'm sure some people out there would love it. But your personal me. opinion? My opinion... Because you I love vegan food, you eat a ton of vegan lot. food. Yeah, so for me, this is going to be like a 3. The, you know, you could add... Oh, I thought they said something there. You can add a lot more to that to make it nicer. You can add a lot more seasoning, a lot more herbs and spices. And you could probably make it taste a little bit better. I think so. I think so. Ahmed asks, which areas within the UK and abroad have you struggled to find decent halal food? One place comes to mind, Cornwall. 
Cornwall, super hard to find. Even the fish and chips often were uh, either fried with the sausages or they had like beer batter or they were fried with beef dripping. You can find them, but it's very difficult for sure. Also, I think this is about three quid. And I think Dan Coma, I can probably get that for about 50p. But if it's nice, it's nice. You know, it's one of those, a bit of chocolate on there. That's a nice touch, it's presented. Lovely lily lily. This is not good back now, guys. Layers are homogenized and stodgy. They're not crispy at all. The honey itself is not particularly flavorful or strong. Does it taste freshly made or from uh, a packet? No, no, packet. You know when you go on holiday and you buy a big pack and it's like 50p and you got like eight pieces or like if you find a petrol station with like baklava on the side. It can't taste like that. Not good. Not good. Special Box asks, what is uh, my favorite cuisine? I always find this quite tough because it depends on my mood, right? I love dim sum. Chinese dim sum is amazing because you've got, because the very nature of the, the type of meal, you have lots of small dishes. So you have like spicy dishes, crispy ones, fried ones, steamed ones, veg ones, meat ones. It's just insane. Maybe you want some salt and pepper chips with your dumplings, with your hargao, with your churn fan. Come on, like, oh, amazing. Like Japanese food, obviously up enough food, but honestly, like desi food, I only eat at home because nothing beats my mom's desi food. Nothing, and my auntie's samosas. Nothing beats them. If you said to me what my favorite meal is, I would say like a Sunday roast because it's customizable, there's lots of meat in it. So yeah, hard question. I'm gonna show you guys one of the best places in all of Northern Quarter, all of Manchester city center. It's called Cabana. I'm only gonna show you a little bit because I wanna do like a proper dedicated video because I actually love this place. And I wasn't gonna feature it because I wanna do a dedicated video, but oh, we're here already, that was so quick. Can eat curry with a knife usually and fork. like super <laughs> curry with a knife and fork, definitely. It's usually really, really busy in it, but what I've done is I've strategically come at a time where I know the lunchtime rush is kind of over. Um, so we can actually film this relatively quiet. So let me just set up. I've ordered my food anyway, and then I'll answer another question. Seeing as this is a bit of a BTS type video, Taz is sorting the camera out. I'm getting my little food shots here, but um, I'm not gonna do a proper review here because I love this place. I wanna do a dedicated video. But uh, I'll ask a quick another question whilst he's just sorted out the back of the camera. What would be the next step in your food blogging? Where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, I don't really know, you never know what's around the corner. I'll continue doing this, I'll continue trying to grow. Hope I'm happy, you know? I'm happy now, alhamdulillah. Hope I'm still happy in five years. Healthy would be nice. All my family are happy. So nothing crazy if I'm being completely honest with you. I know that's a boring answer, but it's a it's a truthful answer. Guys, yeah. you touch look camera. at these. I keep touching the camera, it's annoying camera man. But uh, look at these like sci-fi epic like jokes man. This is kind of like, this is pretty cool, I have to say. It looks like a column or a beam. This could support a house for sure. But um, I'm gonna just, if camera man could just come down here and just show this this curry. This is the baldi. Um, I also get the lamb could I, but someone that's not me didn't want it. So I had to get this, but it looks great. And then this is the naan, it's super fluffy. If Caravan could just come over. I did. He's, he's, he's not being responsive, guys. So he's not doing a good job. I'm gonna lower his salary from zero to like, you owe me money now. Oh, no. Okay, cool, come on. <laughs> so uh, let's just try this. I've not, this is actually one of the curries I've not tried. I've tried most of the menu, but I haven't, I haven't tried this. So let's give it a go. I want to see like everything else is really good. Pizza but, chili. I'm not gonna, but it has coriander on top, and I've got a genetic defect where I can't have coriander. It tastes like soap to me. Eat that chili. It's chili here? Yeah. Oh, I've got seeds in it. Ooh, it's kind of spicy. Iskalachi asks, I've ruined your name, but asks, if you were uh, on death row, what would be your last meal? I think, I always think something made by my mum because I would miss my mum, but then I think that would make me really, really sad because, um, you know, you, just, you know, you miss you make, makes you miss your family even more. But probably, I think it's something from my mum. That was sad. <laughs> That's the question, man. <laughs> okay, so RX nineteen asks, which country? You know, uh, where are you from in Pakistan, and which countries can you speak? So I um, I was born here. Ethnically, I'm Kashmiri, so Azad Kashmir, rather than. Um, Pakistan. Uh, languages we speak, Patwari, that's what we speak at home. English, of obviously, Canadian, American, Australian, all those. And uh, that, that's pretty much it. Taz? You have a little bit of Japanese. I speak a little bit of Japanese. I, I, I quite enjoy Japanese culture, but uh, not, I'm not fluent or anything. There you go. If you know that reference, Tata Mayo. There you go. There you go, right? We've finished our food, so we're going to go to the next spot and answer a couple more questions. And then I think Jim after that, I'm thinking. 
So just outside Kabul, like literally like 200 feet, there's a place called Nell's Pizza. It's supposed to do some really good pizza. Uh, I think they might even do pizza by slice tea. Is that, is that right? I think so, yeah. That's what I saw. I think it's literally just down here. And uh, it's always oh, nice down here, actually. There's lots of... I don't think you guys can see it, but... It's quite nice down here, actually. I've not been to Northern Quarter for a while. I used to live around the corner for many years. But um, I think Nell's Pizza is down here. We're going to grab a slice and then I'll do one or two more questions in and around the review. So we are here. I think it's actually, this is like a bar called Common. Nell's Pizza's inside. So they do sell like alcohol and stuff. So we weren't aware of that. But the margarita pizza has Parmesan, which is veggie. So it's by the slice, so we're going for something that looks all right. Kind of a bit disappointed with that, but it's our fault really. We didn't do enough research. It's, not, it's obviously not their fault, but um, it's this guy. He told us to come here. Hey, I saw pizza and listen, when I see pizza, I go. I saw Nell's pizza and then we got here and then we are kind of a bit confused with the, with the layout. And yeah, it turns out it's a bar. So I'm trying to make halal food guy not so halal. I apologize. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, so yeah, we've gone for the veggie pizza by the slice. It's 350. Let's try it. So it's a pretty decent sized slice. I think I was probably expecting more like a like a deep dish, like Costco, uh, like kind of pizza pie kind of thing, American pizza. But honestly, I prefer thinner bases, so that kind of works better for me. It's a good size. It's all right. I could give you quite a few places that I personally. Uh, this isn't something that I would really recommend you go to. It's not bad. Looks good. It's a shame that it doesn't taste yeah. as good. It's got a crispness to it. Cheese isn't really strong enough. The tomato sauce isn't tangy enough, punchy enough. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to answer a question because I did promise I'd answer another one. Owee.eats, oh, sorry, Owee.eats oh, asks, <laughs> how long does it take to edit your, edit your average length dash review? So how long does it take to edit a video essentially? Best tips to save time. Uh, for me, I don't really want to save time because in my head I was like, however long it takes, that's how long it takes. Make the best content you can. And then when I'm better, I'll learn like ways to save time. I guess for me would be be intentional when you make a video. Kind of, I don't like to script too much because I like to be more natural. I have an idea of what the video is going to be about because then you don't have a ton of content that you have to cut down. Saving time wise, I'm not really into that. I just think it takes as long as it takes. I just, I just want to make good content. So when I first started, to be fair, First video took me like 15 hours to edit. Now it takes me three or four. So I'm getting quicker, but that's because I'm getting more comfortable on camera and it's not um, uh, loads of those points, you know? So that's what I think. Next place I'm gonna show you guys is called Gong Cha. You must come to this place. This place is unreal. I come all the time. I'm gonna show you my favorite drink as well. So I've ordered my drink in here, really cool in here, I like the drinks in here. You can pick like the uh, sweetness level, the amount of ice. I, if you've had bubble tea before, you know it's like a proper experience. I'll do a video on it at some point, but I want to chuck in a question, why not? Zubair K1 asks, what is your dream city in terms of a food blog? Japan. Always want to go to Japan, I'd love to go to Japan. I booked tickets, but then because of COVID I cancelled. I want to rebook tickets. Japan, the food is phenomenal. It's what I'm into. Uh, I would I would love to do a halal food tour of Japan. But let me get my drink now, guys. We'll go outside and we'll answer another question. I'm doing the camera ring, that's why it's not really good. Because cameraman, he's just chilling. He's uh, just chilling. I'm on my phone, downtime. It's hard being a volunteer. <laughs> He's reviewing the bin, the Mancunian bin. Oh, you got me right. <laughs> oh, look, yeah. these are paper. It's like an interesting type of papery plastic. Hard to describe. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. If you guys haven't had uh, bubble tea before, it's such an experience. It's like you drink and chew at the same time. They've got these like lovely tapioca balls in the bottom. You can change those to like mango, passion fruit, lychee, whatever you want. You can have like a fruity drink. I've got like a proper tea. Dirty with brown sugar, Oreo, some milk foam. One of the best drinking experiences you will ever have. In the summer, I like to get the juices. They've got compassion fruit, which is really nice. But whilst we're here, the point of the video, Driver Kangaroo, who by the way, I think you've supported me and you followed me. I think since almost I like right at the beginning. So thank you, man. I know it's when you comment. I know it's when everyone comments. Especially OGs like Driver Kangaroo. So to Kangaroo, why do you hate tomatoes so much? Because they're the worst fruit in the world. That's right. They're a fruit. They're so bad, they lie within their very nature. They tell you they're a veg, they're not. They're a fruit, they're horrible, they're soggy, they're wet. 
the textures, Yuck. How much time do you spend working out? I live in the gym, which I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit. Can we have more buffet style places? We can. I'm planning a proper buffet playlist. I've got a couple out at the moment. And um, thank you so much for the support. I'm gonna do another question mark from here. Aki Majid asks, are you Muslim? Yes. Alhamdulillah, yes. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> there you go, why not? There's, not? there's nothing wrong with asking, right? There's nothing wrong with asking, but uh, Alhamdulillah, yes. Thank you, bro. The Halal Food Travel Guy is uh, Aslam alaikum, my Muslim brother. Aslam alaikum, my Muslim brother. Let's go for another question. Zabair K1 asks, do you study other famous food bloggers, reviewers for tips? Honestly, I look at so much content, I eat so much food. I don't really watch food bloggers too often. Uh, just because I'm doing it so much myself. But uh, I like kind of like movie reviews, anime kind of content, interesting stuff, movie breakdowns. I watch that kind of stuff on YouTube. But I do like Mike Chen, Mark Weens, these kind of guys. They're like OGs, their content is phenomenal. So I do enjoy those. Faiza Khan asks, will you be attending the London Halal Food Festival this month? I think so, I think so. When I first started the channel, the festival was in like a week from me starting the channel, so I couldn't go. And then the following year, COVID, this year, it looks like it's running as per normal. It looks like it's bigger than it was before, so I should be going. But I don't know what day, Saturday or Sunday. If you guys are going, let me know in the comments what day you're gonna be there. And if you see me, make sure you say hi, make sure you say salam alaikum. That's it questions wise, we're gonna finish this and then we're gonna go answer some more questions. But I wanna show you guys the gym first. Heading to the gym now, that's where I'm gonna answer all things fitness, nutrition, training, all that kind of stuff. Right guys, so I'm actually in the gym now. I think this is the first time I've showed you guys my gym on YouTube. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna set up somewhere at the corner. We're gonna answer some fitness related questions, but I'm gonna have my partner, my coach, I'm gonna pass in the video. So make sure you stay around for that because I get lots of fitness related questions, but I think they'll be better, you know, for him to answer. And we need to talk about these guys. I wanna tell you all about these. Let's answer some questions and let's eat. And a little special guest there. Look who's there. He doesn't even know I'm recording him. Yo, T! There's the camera mouse where the magic happens. Where? There's the man himself right there. <laughs> right, guys, so a little rare one. We've actually got all three of us. So myself, we're a cameraman, and then we've actually got my gym partner, Hoss, in the video. We've seen these guys behind the camera, but first time we're all together. So I'm going to talk about the Maya bar in a second. But regarding the questions I get about fitness, um, about nutrition, all that kind of stuff, honestly, Hoss does all my programming, which basically means what I lift, when I lift, and how I lift it. That's what programming means. He does all my nutrition, so the food that I eat, I kind of peck his head a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna defer to Hoss, and he's gonna give you a really quick summary of how we lift, basically. So I'm putting him on the spot, we haven't scripted this, but Hoss, tell us everything you know about lifting in <laughs> one minute. <laughs> Are you waiting? <laughs> yeah, so basically, you know, how do we lift, what do we lift, how many days do we come in, and why do, why do we, why do, we yeah. do that, really? Uh, so we do five days a week. Uh, usually our training split is uh, two days on, one day rest because uh, that's we found over time that we can kind of recover from that. Um, we usually do one or two body parts a week and then we'll prioritize certain weak points depending on what we're trying to bring up. Uh, obviously we focus on like compound lifts which are like your bench, your squat, your deadlift, uh, some sort of overhead press for your shoulders uh, and then like we'll just basically put the workouts in a in a sequence where like we can recover and it's not impeding uh, another session. Where basically does that make sense? sense? It does. Where's security guards like that? You know, we we have to <laughs> assume the position. Protect all this knowledge. The right? knowledge. So make sure no one here no. can corrupt it. One thing we should say is the lifting program that we have, uh, certainly the one that Hoss is sort of devised for us because we, we train together, is specific to us. I think you can definitely learn a lot from it. However, it is kind of tailored to us. So Hoss is a PT. He can obviously tailor something to your needs that are specific to your needs, your goals, your training experience. So necessarily breaking down the nitty gritty of our entire program is probably not going to be that relevant. However, he can give you something that is relevant for your needs. If that, does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it makes <laughs> sense. So yeah. So, yeah. 
I'm going to link Hoss's stuff in my description of this video. So if you're looking for a PT, you want some nutrition uh, advice, some lifting advice, just that general stuff, just click on the link, click on the link, check him out. He's got a wicked Instagram page. Taz is here just as a placeholder. He's not going to do it. I'm reaching behind the camera, but today I'm in front. And it feels really weird. I feel like I should go there and press the button just to make myself useful. But yeah, whatever Ali says and yeah, Hoss will want to mention anything about, about your nutrition because I think. You did say, like a lot of people ask, uh, yeah. how do you come? How can you eat so much food and stay in shape? Yeah, you know, it's kind of magic. answer to that really. Is, magic. Do you want me to say no, no, something I'll about it? Your best position yeah. to so say. The answer to that really is, you know, the onus is on Ali himself to make sure that he's eating essentially less throughout the week. So while still training so hard to burn all these calories off, and then fitting in the odd review, he's not eating. Every day he's not going for review and eating 7,000 calories. He's eating more food on certain days, which he knows he's reviewing, and then he's adjusting the calories over the course of the week uh, for, for, for the days where, you know, basically he needs to eat less so that he can account for his days for, for his reviews. And then over time doing that, he can still maintain his physique or adjust the calories so he's losing some body fat. Uh, but then at the same time, on top of that, you know, to be fair, he's training very, very hard, five days a week, like we said, we're doing two days on heavy training, and then on top of that, he's then doing cardio, so he's going to be going on the Stairmaster, or on the treadmill, and doing like 20, 30 minutes, yeah. sometimes, you know, to burn those excess calories, so that when he could, when it does come down to doing reviews, he's got that kind of ease of mind that he can relax, do the review, do what he does for his job, and then, and then just crack on after that. Yeah, I mean, if you want to play, guys, you got you got to pay. Like, I get those questions like all the time, you know, pretty much on a on a daily basis. And the truth is, like Post just said, there is kind of no magic to it. I was joking earlier with the magic. There's kind of no secret to it. There's work really hard in the gym, do lots of cardio, lift properly, lift consistently, lift regularly, and that helps me eat what I eat. Now even with that, like I said, I'll have review days, outside of those review days, I eat really clean. So definitely there's no kind of easy route to it, it's quite challenging, however, it's possible. Talking about nutrition, I think it's time we mention the sponsor of today's video, it's a company called Maya Band, but they've released a Mayo bar, I've got a few different flavours, they've sent me, um, the one that I've actually had is Caramel Bliss, which if I can find, Boom, is that one. We've got peanut butter there. We've got some strawberry milkshake and they've got a chocolate one as well. So I know I love the caramel bliss. What do you buy? Peanut. Sorry. Peanut. He's got peanut. Peanut's here. Sorry, man. He's, he's, he's just kind of, you know, he's claimed that one. Yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> what are you thinking? Strawberry uh, milkshake, chocolate or caramel bliss? Well, you already kind of said that nice. caramel bliss is a good one, so nice. I might try that one. I'll try the chocolate. Let's do it all together, guys. Thank you again to Mayo Band for actually sponsoring the video. They make videos like this possible, guys, so thank you. They often have beef collagen. I'm not sure if you guys heard that. Protein bars often do have like beef collagen and, and beef kind of product. This is vegetarian, so that's really cool. Okay. You've got the caramel, I've got the oh, chocolate. It smells great. And it's 26 grams of protein, that's quite rare. Yeah. That's nice. The chocolate one's good. Oh, I chatted to Maya Bar. Maya Band, sorry. I said add some crunchy stuff on top, take it to a whole other level. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But the bar itself, good macros and really good tasting. But there's some potential there to make it like a like a hay man bar, you know? But tasty, I like that. I like that it's not yeah. super chewy and give you a jaw while yeah. like half the protein. Yeah, it's bar. Like the quest bar. They're just like, who in those quest bars? They were so chewy. Yeah. Good. I like the macros of those. Same 26 grams. The vegetarian. Yeah. Oh, zero sugar as well. Guys, still with Taz. What we're going to do Always. is we're, <laughs> we're done from the gym. The rest of the video is going to be some more questions, and I think they're going to be some interesting questions. So do stick around. We're going to answer some more of your questions right we are? about. We, uh -oh. yeah, I was going to say right <laughs> about now. He's ruined it. He's ruined it. So yeah, more questions coming right up. Hey guys, so we're back home, uh, really tired, really tired, really hot, it's really warm today. SN asks, if you could eat one type of food forever, what would it be? Something nutritionally complete like a potato. Potatoes are nutritionally complete, obviously no food is 
completely, completely complete. That'll get you all of your macro, micronutrient needs, but potatoes are about as close as it gets. You can survive and survive well off potatoes. So that, uh, your least favorite food, biryani. I'm the only Asian that hates biryani. I do not like biryani and and I've had a lot of them. I do not I do not enjoy biryani at all if I'm being honest. I just I just don't like it. Disappointing eatery that I've been to, I've hyped too much. Um, and you've also had that experience. What well, I let down. Ah, I went to London, I went to Elan Caf. Oh everyone says it's amazing, you know, saw all the pictures, saw the instas, saw all that kind of stuff. And it was absolutely dreadful. The drink I had was like okay, but the food, I had like chicken and waffles. And I did it on my Insta. I didn't make a, it wasn't a, a, a YouTube video. It was just me just chilling with, with family. But, but um, yeah, so I got the piece of chicken and I literally banged it on the table. And it was like, dong, 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 dong. Cause it was absolutely rock hard. It was, it was dreadful. That was, that was not good. Ayari team asked, what's the best takeaway I've ever eaten? And honestly, too many to name because comparing the best pizza place with the best Arpano Desi place with the best Japanese place, it's apples and oranges, man, tough. I always struggle with that. I can give you top fives in different categories for sure. But you know, it's like if you said the best meal, comparing like a Wagyu steak to, I don't know, a cheese toasty is a pretty tough challenge. It kind of depends what you want because they're so different to each other. Comparing is, is kind of hard. Adam asks, at the time, which locations, towns and cities, uh, are you going to visit soon? So I want to do another trip in uh, trip to Bradford. I love Bradford. I want to go back to Birmingham because I've been a few times and I've not, I think I've just been a bit unlucky with the food. And a lot of my uh, vlogger friends say, you know, Birmingham is awesome. So they know food, man. They know food as well. So I think I've just been a bit unlucky. So I think I owe it to myself and to you guys to go down and find those really good places um, because I've not really experienced them. Um, Armina52 asks, where has your rucksack gone? Do you use it for all of the extra food you order? Dot, 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 mysterious. Or eat it all. So I either finish my food share my food or I take it home. Often it's in that bag, often it's in carry bags and things like that. I normally just, just take it home if I cannot finish. And if I do like a, a menu taste test and I'm on my own, it's very rare that I'll finish like eight mains, you know, four maybe, but eight, no, no, no. So often, yeah, finish, share or take home. Mosha1234 asks, do you plan to go to Afghanistan uh, after all of this is over? I would love to go for sure. That sounds insane, the food. Oh, the scene there would be great. The sights, I would love to see more of the culture. I would I would love to do that. But obviously it would be something that I couldn't do right now because of the situation there. But when it's safe and people are allowed to go, it's like a holiday, I would love to go. Okay, so as this is a pretty casual one, I'm just gonna chill, I'm gonna lay down. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. That was fun. I quite like the casual nature of it because it was just like chilling with Taz and stuff, answering your questions. I will think about what I'll do on the next milestone, but I don't know what that will be. I feel like 30? I don't know, 50? I don't know. They seem like quite a big number, so I don't want to wait like ages before I do like another one of these because 50 is going to take a long time. I don't want to wait, so I don't know. We'll see. If you have any suggestions, let me know. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I just wanted it to be like a little thank you to you guys. I know when I was making the video, like for SEO and like YouTube growth, I knew this video wouldn't do particularly well but I just wanted to do it as like a thank you to you guys. Cause sometimes I get these questions and I know with my food reviews, I don't really go into my personal life too much because I want it to all be about food. I want it to be about food. I want the food to shine. I don't want it to be about me particularly. Obviously I'm presenting the food, so I need to use my personality, but I want the food to be the focal point of the video. But I feel like over 200 videos in, it's probably time to do like a little Q and A just to tell you a little bit more about myself. If you are into that kind of content, vlogging, like just daily life, gym, all that sort of stuff, I do do things like that, but I do that on Instagram because it's much more chilled out. Stories kind of disappear after a day, so it's pretty relaxed. I'm on there most days, so if you do want to check out my Instagram, follow me on there. It's pretty different to content on here, but uh, here I love, I love the food stuff. I like making proper videos, breaking down food, so I'll continue to do that. Whilst I've got you there, what should I talk about? Okay. What have I got coming next? Um, next would be, I think this will come out and then my Rome and Naples videos come out and then I'm filming across Europe. So it'll be like Spain, I'm going to Barcelona. In Greece, I'm going to Athens and Santorini. And then in Germany, I'm going to go to Berlin. So I'm kind of reviewing across Europe. I'm doing halal food tours. You want to see all that kind of stuff and 
you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe. That would mean a lot to me and the channel. And uh, drop the video a like, because the reason why everyone asks for that, because it really helps out the channel. What it just means is if you like the video and you like it, you click the little like button, YouTube shows it to more people. It just helps spread the video, you know, in a nutshell. So make sure you do that for me. It takes two seconds of your time. And yeah, that takes me right until the end of the video. Bit of a different one for me, but I've enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. But uh, I will see you all in that next video. Bye, 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 bye.